Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Caleb. Oh, I'm just gonna go to the gas station, get me some Red Bull, because I am a little sleepy this morning. Um, as you can see, it is snowing here in Colorado. Uh, today is January 16th, 2017. We got a little bit of snow. And, uh, I figured while I was driving I could maybe give, uh, some Colorado newbies a couple of tips for driving in the snow, because it is a little bit different. Um, I'd say the first thing you gotta know about driving in the snow is, uh, don't drive that fast, you know. You gotta drive slower than you would if the roads were dry or even just wet, um, obviously. We all know that snow uh, turns into ice uh, when the temperature gets down, especially at night. What will happen is <clears throat> it'll snow on the roads, the roads will get wet, they might get a little bit covered. So you can see here we've got a cloud this morning, but as the temperature falls at night, all this slush turns into black ice, which <clears throat> A is hard to see it's black or it's you know it's the same color as the cement and B it gets super slippery so when you're out and about just try to uh, try to go a little slower uh, B uh, make sure your car has tires that don't suck uh, I'm driving an F-150 I just got these tires replaced a couple weeks ago I usually get all weather tires. They have winter specific ones. These are kind of like a hybrid. Um, basically the way to know if your tires are uh, too worn down is to stick a quarter in it. And I, I think it's a quarter and a penny. Um, I'll link to a photo if I can find one in the description. But if you can see Lincoln's head or uh, George Washington's head, then you know your tread. On your tires has gotten too low. Um, you definitely want to have good tires that are actually capable of creating some traction on here. Um, along with that, you know, four-wheel drives pretty much a necessity out here if you're gonna want to get out and about in the snow. Um, I'm currently driving in four-wheel right now probably don't need it for today necessarily, but it's just a little bit safer. Um, it gives you more traction, but you got to remember that four-wheel drive does not necessarily mean four-wheel stopping as well. Um, of course, all your wheels have brakes on them, but it doesn't increase your braking ability by any means. Uh, what's next? Uh, some things you might want to consider keeping inside your car uh, when you're driving around in snow uh, would be obviously some extra clothing. Um, I keep an extra pair of boots, uh, some ski gloves, a couple hats. Uh, I have a spare jacket and actually a bunch of long underwear that I keep in here too, just in case I get stuck somewhere. Currently I have like a little army shovel, like one of the little folding shovels. Uh, if it snows a lot, I'll usually actually grab like a spade or a snow shovel. Toss that in the truck bed. Uh, cat litter is a great idea. If you do get stuck in the snow, cat litter can be a saving grace or just like sand that you can kind of jam underneath the tire so you can get some traction to get out of being stuck. Um, and what I find probably most important, especially for the truck I drive, are uh, sand bags, or uh, I guess you call it tube sand. Uh, they sell these at Home Depot or Lowe's, they're like three bucks a bag. Um, and basically it's just like a big 60 pound like tube of sand. And I currently have six of them in my uh, in my truck bed, <clears throat> so that gives me around 100, or 360, six times, <laughs> I'm not gonna do math, 60 times six, 
is, uh, yeah, around 400 pounds of <clears throat> extra weight back there, and that helps you from fishtailing. What else can I think? Oh, yeah, another thing. Uh, your <clears throat> windshield wiper fluid. Make sure you got that topped off because if you get a lot of splashback, especially on the highways with this uh, brown slush that accumulates on the roads, and you don't have the ability to uh, kind of wash it off with windshield wiper fluid, that can get really dangerous really fast. I've almost gotten in an accident in the past because I was in that situation. And once the slush starts caking onto your uh, windshield, it doesn't like to come off just with the wipers. So definitely something to think about there. Um, yeah, the other thing, I guess, is just be courteous to the other drivers on the road. I know that's a foreign concept to a lot of people that drive, but, you know, it's not worth getting in an accident because you're in a rush. So, anywho, I hope you guys all have a lovely January 16th. Um, if you found this useful at all and didn't turn it off because you thought it was boring as shit, uh, go ahead and subscribe, like it, and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, let's see what's going on up here real quick. Looks like the mailman got stuck. That's a bummer. I hope, I hope he can deliver his mail. Alright, see you guys later.